Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. <laughs> I'm Karma Jolt. This theme sounds so awful, like just the first few notes of that James Bond theme sound way off. But the rest of the music in this game is like actually pretty good. Anyway, this is James Bond 007 for the Game Boy. Let's get started. Uh, last we left off, we went to China. And we found some secret plans, and I guess I didn't bother to heal my HP in between saves, or by the time I uh, left China and arrived in London. Oh, James, I was beginning to think you had forgotten where the office was. I've been standing right there for a hot minute. I was getting a karate lesson in China. Money Penny, you'll have to show me a move sometime. Sorry, darling, they're classified. Ha <laughs> ha, because I'm so classy. Everything I do is classified. I'm just going to classify everything that I touch. Bond, you should not leave until you receive your mission from M. Okay, that's some good advice. Who this over here? M007, did you get the plans? Oh, you wanted me to hold on to those. I thought you just wanted me to get rid of them so that they didn't have the plans. Good work, Bond. They appear to be blueprints of a hidden base, but they do not list a location. It's true that there's not an exact location, but they mention a man called Iqbal? I-Q-B-A-L. If you rearrange the letters in that, it, it can spell, um, Cubale. Their contact in the Middle East, 008 was sent to Kurdistan on a related mission, but he hasn't been heard from for weeks. I, like, never do an English accent, so if that sounds shitty, I apologize. But I'm impressing myself, at least, so, you know, that's all that really matters, right? You must go now and locate 008, or 008, and Bond, do be careful. Yes, I will not... Trip over anything. I'm just like searching all around these areas by the way by holding my fist out It kind of looks like he's flipping off everything like he's just walking around like this, you know, which I would do too if I Were me and living in the exact situation. I'm living in IRL. I think Q wants to talk to you Was he too nervous or something that's adorable. That's cute. Hello commander. I'm not Q. I think Q wants to talk to you. <laughs> no, that's not what she sounds like. There you are, 007. Now don't touch anything. Here is your sidearm. Whoa. He just gave me a fucking gun. That gun of yours shoots bullets. I made it myself. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this keychain. When dropped on the ground, it electrifies the surrounding area and gives quite a jolt to anyone unfortunate enough to stand on it. You mean a karma jolt? He's gonna give me like a hundred more things. Oh, I also forgot to give you the car that, you know, that these keys go to. 007, don't touch that. What was I touching right there? I'm not Q. Man, these people are so depressed that they're not Q. I mean, I understand that Q is great and all, but like, you can be you and I still appreciate that. Hello, Commander. Who's in this chair over here? What is this? 007, don't touch that. Oh, okay. They're both Q, telling me not to touch something. We've been working the glitches out of this couch for we. <laughs> oh, shit! I can just flip this guy inside his ca It's like a collapsible or foldable, foldable couch with a bed inside. Or maybe it just allows someone to hide in the couch. Either way, it's genius. All right, enough fucking around. Well, hello, Mr. Bond. I have something for you. I hid it in the data bank behind me. Is it a med kit? Yes, it is. It's a med kit. How did I know? Ha <laughs> ha! Does he say something different? Nope. Better let that guy out, though, sometime. I feel bad. I'll go let him out. That was rude of me. Oh, he got out himself. Okay. Well, I guess they worked out that glitch, then. Cool, I have a gun. Let's see if I can shoot it indoors. Huh. Um, this guy doesn't mind me shooting in his office or even toward or at him. So, 
I guess he's just a fearless badass. That's cool. Next time you are in China, why don't you bring me back a piece of jewelry? Sure. Are the Chinese known for their jewelry? I thought that was dwarves. Anyway, let's head to Kurdistan. Named after my friend Curtis. Uh, AKA 50 Cent. Be careful, mister. The last guy who had an accent like yours disappeared. Oh, well, I'll hide my accent and use this re What was that? Did he just sneeze a bubble or something? What's going on with that man? Anyway, I was gonna say I'll use a different accent. It's really not that complicated. There's a fly over here. Can I punch it? Can I punch this bug? I'm trying to work the bugs out of this game, if you know what I mean. So to speak. Sup, sir. The man to the west has been known to scheme with our newest prisoner. Y'all got prisoners here? I mean our goats. My goats. I didn't say prisoners. Nothing. Um, can I punch a goat? I did that once, IRL. Did I tell you that story, by the way? Well, I punched a goat once. Not hard or anything, but the goat was being annoying. Uh, there's a whole bunch of animals over here. I should probably be careful around him. But hey, it looks like I need to go this way before I go the other way. I've mislaid my machete. I think my neighbor took it. Oh, I definitely remember using the machete in this game. I think it replaces your punch, but I'm not sure. Either way, it's a badass weapon that you can use to chop, chop, chop. To kick, punch, chop, I got the funky flow. You are very suspicious, Mr. Bond. I find I live longer that way. If I'm suspicious? Yeah, anyway. What is this machete doing here? Oh, I stole it from my neighbor. Well, cool. I got me a machete. I do not know how it got here. <laughs> That's fine. I won't. I won't judge you. I do not know how I got here. Well, time to get out of here. Chop, chop, so to speak. I can't stab any of the animals, and I'm actually... You know what? That's totally fine with me. I kind of would have been horrified if I had accidentally killed one of those goats. Is there anything in here? Also, there was a guy up there with a gun. I should probably watch out for him. Can I, uh... Oh! That's an enemy! That's just an enemy that I can run up and chop! <laughs> he turned around and shot me! Are y'all enemies too? Can I just get by you? That's cool. I mean, I can't talk to them or anything, so I assume they're just straight up enemies. But also, they don't interact with me until I interact with them. So, like, I'm just gonna leave him alone. Scheme. He does not know what he's talking about. Oh, really? Cousin? All right. My cousin was not was not arrested for stealing that old man's lamp. He was caught while we were forging cabaret passes. Please don't tell them about me. I'll give you my gold ring if you keep quiet. Oh, shit. I got a gold ring. Wow, okay, so apparently I, like, interrogated and pressured that man into telling me the truth about something. But, like, all I said was, oh, really? And that got to him. Like, that really got to him. So, cool, I got a gold ring for that. I'll get out of here. Uh, where else can I go? Did I go into this house? I don't think I did. Halt, no entrance here unless you have a pass. Oh, I probably need a cabaret pass for that. And there's a magic lamp over there, or a regular-ass lamp. I guess someone mentioned something about a lamp, right? Let's go in here. We've caught this criminal for the last time. Now we are after his cousin. <gasps> oh, that's like who I was just talking to, wasn't it? I was caught trying to steal a lamp from an old man. Like, that's the thing you're gonna go to jail for, dude? Like, not money laundering or stealing something cool. Stealing a lamp? Maybe it was a really bitchin' lamp. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Alright, I don't have to explore every nook and cranny here, do I? Let's see what's up north. What's up this way over here? There are lots of baskets of... <clears throat> what I can only assume is fruit. And that's why there are all these flies around here. Hey, there's a house! I just noticed that! Let's go inside. What you got for me, dog? Jeweled eggs can prove to be very valuable in trading. Yeah, no shit. It is rare to find one in this region. Really, jeweled anything is valuable for trading. Like, I feel like... I feel like you are being untruthful in your specificity here. Well, I guess I gotta find a jeweled egg. Can't be anything else. 
I could just walk right in front of what I assumed were enemies. It won't open from this side. Oh, sting the fuck out of him, bug. That's right. There's a med kit. Oh, can I chop? Yeah, I can chop through these leaves now that I have... Now that I have this machete. I didn't miss any paths because of that, did I? Except for this one, maybe? Well, this looks like an area I don't need to be in. Whoa, that bush grew back super fast. Speaking of which, it is only an old wives' tale. It is a myth that when you shave your hair, it will grow back thicker and more furiously. It looks far too dark to explore these caves without some kind of light. I keep changing his voice. I really don't need to do that. I can't talk to these people, though. It's rather odd that they're not shooting me. I feel like they're supposed to be enemies. Or maybe they're just guards that I can't talk to. Can I go that way? Yeah, can I go around this guy? Hell yes, I can. Let's go this way. Aha! Tape! I love tape. My husband, Iqbal, spends a lot of time away from home, so I write to him often. Oh, that's the important guy that I learned about. This blank pad of paper might come in handy. You were really so ill-equipped that I had to find some stationery in order to solve an objective. Hey, what's over here? Chop, chop, take that, bugs. Okay, I'm going to start killing these guys for no reason. Oh, I got bullets. I guess that's a reason. That's a pretty good reason now that I think about it. Um, now what do I do with that gold ring? But at least now I can loop back around that path. You found my machete. Keep it with my blessing if you promise to use it against Iqbal. Well, okay. I might just use a gun, though. Is that okay? Is that okay if I attack him with some other thing? The man to the west has been known to scheme with our newest prisoner. Uh, maybe I need to show him the ring? Nope. Oh wait, maybe I need to show the ring to the prisoner. That would make so much sense. Yeah, let's go try that real quick. Of course, I need to re-equip the machete to get around here. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. That's that's actually pretty obvious. Watch it be wrong. Uh, hey, you seen this ring? You know what I'm talking about? I've been told by your cousin you know how to forge cabaret passes. Unless you want him in here with you, you must make one for me. Wow, extortion! Here is his gold ring. Accept it as proof that I am serious. I believe that you are. All I need is some paper. Get some for me, and I'll make you a pass. Okay, that's super obvious now. How come I didn't figure that out earlier? Here is the paper you requested. Shut up. There's a fucking guard right there. Great. Let's have it. Now keep that guard busy and I'll have this done in minutes. Do I punch him? The citizens of this town must feel safe with you on duty. Thank you. Our police force takes pride in our work. We you capture the criminal blah blah blah? He must be done right now. Good luck. Yes, I got a cabaret pass. Now I can... Now this guy wants to attack me. Now suddenly everyone is aggressive without me having to stab them in the first place. But that makes sense because I've got a cabaret pass and they're jealous. Thank you. You may pass. Get it? Because you needed a pass to get in. Tell me something. That blinking light gives me a headache. What blinking light is he talking about right now? This one... Will you join me? Sorry, darling. Something's come up. And it's not my erection. <laughs> Boner jokes. Uh, penises. Iqbal's father spends a lot of time in the cave to the north. If he isn't there, he's usually in the courtyard. Or at his house, doing some other fucking thing. You'll never get to the courtyard as long as that guard sees you. Well, what if I'm invisible? You want that shaken, not stirred? Nice. References to the thing that I say. No one goes out this door. Halt, that is a restricted area. Can I fucking chop him? Um, okay, but how do I distract this fool? No, that's shaken, not stirred. Uh, can I use the stun keychain? Let's see if I can use it. You can't use that here. Okay, well that's pretty straightforward then. I will re-equip my knife. 
Uh, how do I distract that guy then? So how do I figure out this guard situation? Because that's pretty restricted right there. Can I blow up the t- Whoa! Hey, what happened to the light? Okay, I didn't really expect that to work, but I shot the fucking TV? Like, I don't know if that was just a light. How did you get past the guard? Oh, I shot the TV. Anyway, uh, I left him in the dark. Haha, <laughs> cause he's got no idea, get it? Uh, I'm just gonna grab this lamp. This lamp should shed some light on the whereabouts of 008. Now I can open this doorway. Oh, and now I can go into that cave that I just couldn't get through before. And now suddenly, okay, and the guards are aggressive now. That doesn't make any sense. Damn, this guy's pretty deadly accurate. Good thing those bullets don't hurt all that much. And it's nothing, you know, some good old-fashioned tape can't solve. Chop, chop, chop. I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage. That's okay. Slash the hell out of this fool. I got some bullets back. And now I have a lamp so I can see inside. All I've got to do is equip it. Uh, and maybe I'll have my pistol on me. Just in case. Uh, but let's explore. I'm just gonna search some walls here. I'm gonna go north first. Who's this big-ass man? Iqbal, here to rescue your little friend, are you? Prepare to be enlightened. Uh, did I throw the stun keychain? Is that what just happened? What do I have to do here? Oh, okay, I have to get him to run into this keychain? And then shoot him while he's stunned. Cause bullets don't hurt him otherwise. That's an interesting little gimmick that doesn't make any sense, but I appreciate that certain enemies need to be stunned before I can harm them. And I can't pick this up or else it'll stun me. So what did I just get? A whole ring of keys. An illegal key ring. I thought it was an arms ring before that. Uh, well let's try to bust this dude out of here. Whoops, I can't see what I'm doing without my light. I unequipped the light. Hold on, Oob. I have Iqbal's keys. You'll be... <laughs> Iqbal's. You'll be free in no time. You can't use that here. Damn, he's got some skulls. He just made some friends with skulls over here. 007. Iqbal gets his weapons from a man named Oddjob. <gasps> the man with the deadly hat, of course. I found out that he is located in Marrakech. I don't know how to pronounce that. Stop him, 007. I'm too weak to go on. Hurry, Bond. Get well, 008. Take this lamp. And take your news to M. I've got a date in Marrakech. I'm already getting transported to another area. I think, though, that's enough excitement for one day. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching this part. <laughs> my hair got in my mouth. Thank you so much for watching this part of James Bond 007 for the Game Boy handheld entertainment system. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends, I'm great.